But my goal is not to set myself up. My goal is to uh, open up space for humanity. You would send up a bunch of civilians into space. You yeah. did not send yourself up. Uh, no, I've not set myself up. Um, I suppose I will at some point. Uh, but my goal is not to set myself up. My goal is to uh, open up space for humanity and ultimately set us on a path to becoming a space faring civilization and a multi-planet species. Yes. So you don't want to go up yourself. It's neither here nor there. I will go at some point. What do you think of the other efforts to go suborbital? Suborbital, suborbital is a step in the direction of orbit, uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, but just to, to put things in perspective, you need about 100 times more energy to get to orbit that, uh, versus suborbit. Um, and then to get back from orbit, you need to burn off that energy. So you need a like heavy duty heat shield because you're coming in like a meteor. Yes. So, so like orbit is roughly two orders of magnitude more difficult than, than suborbit. Uh, but it's still, you know, good to do something in space. What did you think watching those, uh, both, uh, Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos? You think that? Um, I thought it was cool that they're, um, Spending money on the advancement of space. I think we ultimately want to be, humanity wants to be, uh, should, should want to be a space-bearing civilization and out there among the stars. And we want, I think we, we really want, you know, right, all these things that we see in science fiction movies and books, like, you know, we want those to be like real one day, not always fiction. Right. Uh, so I think it's good that uh, people are spending their money advancing space technology.